I had a Pioneer VSX 530 come in. Uh, complaint on it is that it was taking or was it would run fine when it was cold, and when it heated up, the speakers would just cut out. And um, then it started cutting out completely, where the speakers wouldn't come on at all. So I, I said, yeah, I'll have a look at it and see if we can figure this out. If it's something really simple, if it's something more than that, then I'm probably not going to be able to fix it. But let's take a look. Got this Pioneer. Uh, this is a VSX530. Complaint is it has no sound after it's run for a while. It won't put out sound. Or, yeah, when it's hot, it won't put out sound. So it's cold now. And the speakers have not kicked in. It's taking an awful long time for those speakers to kick in, isn't it? Now I notice that when I turn them off and then turn them back on, the relay clicked. Hmm, that's weird. But they wouldn't turn on on their own. Power on. See? That's a weird one. And then they finally come on. We'll pull the top off this thing and see if there's anything obvious. Now if you were going to say, well this is just another example of Chinese made crap, you'd be wrong because this unit is not made in China. It's close, but this one's not from China. This one's actually made in Vietnam. And this is the design of this one. So you've got all the digital boards here for the HDMI processing and so forth. There's a, another vertical board here that has some components on it, some capacitors on it. It plugs into the main board, which appears to be just power supply. It's another interconnect board over here. And then the business end, all the amplifiers are on this board here with the power transistors mounted on this heat sink and again not a very repair friendly design because there's no bottom uh, cover that can be taken off on this so here's our regulators down here and because the symptom of this set the customer that owns it said he bought it off Craigslist and it didn't work right when he got it obviously because the guy on Craigslist sold it because it was having some problems. It's not a very old machine. It's only, it was made in 2015. So it's three years old. Or just over three years old. Yeah, I'll call it three years. It probably sat in the store for a while, so maybe two years old. But uh, the first thing I'm going to check on this is I'm going to check the regulators just to see if there's any connection problems here. We'll pull this board and the regulators out just so I can take a look at them and see how the connections are. Just because the symptom that he uh, told me was when he first got it, it was fine when it was cold, but if it had been running for a while, uh, it would cut out and he'd, he'd unplug it and let it cool down and it would work again for a while and then it would cut out. That's the symptom is when it's been running, it shuts off, the sound cuts out. So I'm thinking maybe a bad connection somewhere. First place, of course, to start will be on those regulators. So we'll just remove the regulators and the little board here and see if there's uh, any issue.
I don't know about you, but those don't look to be great. Look at right here. We'll redo those ones for starters. I don't know that that's the problem, but uh, those connections have got cracks. Right there, you can see it. Yeah, it doesn't look not to my liking. So I can't say if that's the problem or not, but it certainly is, uh, doesn't look great. So we'll reflow these connections here. I'm actually looking at the monitor as I do this. I'm not looking at the work because the camera is in real close, so it's easier to see it on the monitor than it is to to see what I'm doing with the iron directly. The actual connections on the ICs themselves look okay. That one in the middle there might be a little suspect right, right here. And that one there. it'll bend I'll redo them anyway just for the heck of it I'll redo those ones I don't know that they're bad but since I got the little board out this one here looks like it might be a bit of a crack there since I got the little board out we'll, we'll try this and then we'll see if this thing if it makes any change to the way that this thing behaves.
It's just a pad. That's not. Uh, that's not a component. That's just a pad. Power on. Okay, sound cut in that time on its own. Excellent. Try that again. I'm gonna let this thing run and get warm. And maybe, just maybe, that's all the problem was. Let this thing run for a bit. See whether it's going to, uh, I'm getting it warm in here too, that's why I get the heat going. I'm gonna get it quite warm in here because the shop's cold, so I want this to kind of simulate a, a home environment. I'm gonna cover this thing up to get some heat to build up in it too. And we do that just by putting rags over it just to contain the heat, because I want to get this good and hot and see if it's gonna cut out when it gets hot. So, old repairman's trick which is just to take some rags and stuff and place it over top just so that the thing will heat up and uh, try and contain some of this heat see if it'll act up when it heats up well, I've had it running for a while, it's starting to get warm oh yeah, it's getting pretty warm now I'll turn it off and turn it on and see if it'll come back on because the complaint was it wouldn't turn back on once it was turned off so turn it on, power kicked in Speakers should come out right about now. Still going. We'll test it a little while longer. It's been going now for about uh, 30 minutes. I'll leave it go for a little while longer and we'll check back with it. We're about 30 minutes later and we'll turn it off. Turn it back on. It should come on within about 11 seconds. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 sounds come on right about now it takes 11 seconds from the time you hit the power button to get uh, sound it seems to be pretty consistent we'll continue to test for a little while longer before sending this thing back to have the customer check it out on his end and make sure it's working okay i'm going to uh i'm going to let it cool down i'm going to put it back together i'm going to let it cool down leave it plugged in let it cool down and then see if it'll start up cold and we'll do that a few times. It's been running now for about an hour and a half and I've been turning it off and on every so often and it's, of course it's coming back on if I turn it on now. It should come on in a few seconds. It'll come on about uh, two seconds now. So I'm going to put the top on it. Let it sit. Let it cool down, it will try to gain cold, and then I'm going to send it on its way and let the, let the owner of it give it a try and see how it's, uh, see if it's working. That um, connection on here, as I say, that was a couple bad ones down here, and those are on the low voltage regulators. So, of course, if there was a voltage fluctuation due to a bad connection here, you know, on the 12 volt regulator. One was, a, one was a positive and one's a, one's a negative and one's a positive 12 volt regulator. So 7912 is a negative 12 volt regulator. 7812 is the positive 12 volt regulator. This was the one that had the connection problem. And this one here is a positive 5 volt regulator. 
but um, if you had a, a bad connection there, it could cause a voltage fluctuation, which was keeping the unit from turning on the speaker relay. And just the description of how he said it was acting up when it was getting hot is, 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 a, is a classic type problem, a heat related problem. When it gets hot, you get thermal expansion and could cause a connection to break. So those have been dealt with. I have a feeling that that might be the problem on this. So we'll test it some more before sending it on its way, but I'm gonna put the top on it now and just test it all together. A unit back together, power. Give me 11 second delay as the voltage stabilizes before the speakers cut in. That's it. This one's fixed. It's going back to the customer. If there's a problem, he'll bring it back. But I think uh, I'm pretty confident that it's fixed now. Thanks for watching.